Hey guys, recently there's been a lot of development in the quantum computing ecosystem. A lot of new quantum computers from different companies have become available to the public. In this video, I'm going to recap what has happened and show you how to access the new devices. The first company on the list is Honeywell. The American Fortune 100 company has made their Ion Trap quantum computer available to the public. Honeywell has secretly been working on a quantum computer for quite a while now. The first major public announcement from Honeywell was in June 2020, when they announced that they had built the most powerful quantum computer. Specifically, they claimed that their device has a quantum volume of 64, which is twice as high as the next highest quantum volume that has been recorded on an IBM quantum computer in January 2020. Quantum volume is defined as the largest random circuit of equal width and depth that the quantum computer successfully implements. Now, Honeywell's device has only six ion trap qubits. So the high quantum volume shows that the error rates are significantly lower than the error rates in superconducting computers, such as IBM's. What's especially nice about Honeywell's device is the all-to-all -all connectivity. In a superconducting device such as IBM's, only neighboring qubits can be entangled. To entangle further away qubits, so-called swap gates have to be used, which further increases the errors. Since Honeywell is using trapped ions as qubits, they can physically move them around and entangle all qubits with each other, without having to use swap gates. While this is very impressive, quantum computers only really become interesting at around 50 to 60 qubits because this is where it becomes very difficult to simulate them classically. It will be very interesting to see how Honeywell is able to scale the device in the future. Now, in the beginning of August, Honeywell finally made their quantum computer available to the public. And if we go over to the Honeywell Quantum Solutions website, you can see here how to get access to the machine. So basically, you have to write them an email, which is uh, very old school and then you can use the quantum computer. Unfortunately, the uh, usage of the quantum computer does cost money. Um, on the website, it doesn't say anywhere how much it costs. So I guess this will be negotiated once you've contacted them um, via email. So this is basically more of a uh, commercial solution for big companies. But in the future, this should become a lot more user-friendly and easy. So if we have a look at Microsoft Azure, which is Microsoft's um, cloud computing service, we can see here at the top that there is a button called Azure Quantum. And if we click on it, um, we can sign up. And if we do that, um, we're redirected to this website. Uh, the Azure Quantum website and if we scroll down a bit we can see here that Honeywell has partnered with Microsoft. So in the future you should be able to access uh, Honeywell's computer um, by using Microsoft's um, Azure Quantum um, which will provide a lot um, easier of an access to their machine. Get up, get up. While Microsoft hasn't launched their quantum computing cloud access service yet Amazon has released massive news just a few days ago on August 13th. Amazon is now providing public access to three different quantum computing hardwares via Amazon Web Services, AWS in short. Let's have a look and check out the AWS app website. All right, so this is the AWS management console. And you can see here all the different services that AWS um, provides. This ranges from um, machine learning to um, cloud storage to launching uh, a server, hosting a website. Basically, um, this is what uh, companies are using to uh, host their website to do all of their backend stuff. Um, this is super popular. And now you can see here in the middle, we also have a quantum technologies um, tab. So if we click here on Amazon uh, Brockett, uh, we now see here the three new machines that are available um, with AWS. And first up is a really interesting one. The first one is the D-Wave machine. 
The D-Wave was actually founded in 1999 and it's a, a Canadian company, a Canadian quantum computing company. They were actually the first to uh, commercially sell quantum computers. And the D-Wave is a very specific kind of quantum computer. It's a so-called quantum annealer. These are quantum computers that are really only good for quantum optimization, so solving optimization problems. So the thing about the D-Wave machine is that the quantum computing community is quite split, whether the D-Wave is actually able to provide any quantum speed up, which means that it's faster than any classical computer. Um, so far, it's uh, still very much unclear, um, but a lot of uh, quantum computing people don't really believe in a D-Wave machine. But um, now you have access um, to it using AWS and you can see here it has 2048 qubits and this is the cost. Uh, what should be noted is that actually if we go to the, um, to the website of D-Wave, uh, you can see that um, if we click here on take the leap, we are redirected and then we can actually sign up um, to use the D-Wave for free and run our programs. So yeah, now you can also uh, do it via AWS and you have to pay a little bit. Okay, so next up is IonQ. IonQ is uh, very similar to the Honeywell device since it's also a uh, trapped ion quantum computer, which means it also has all-to-all -all connectivity as you can see here. It has um, 11 qubits, so a bit more than a Honeywell machine with just uh, 6 qubits. And IonQ is an American startup from Maryland that was founded in 2015 and is developing uh, quantum computers and quantum computing software. If we have a look at the IonQ website, you can see that if we click on Get Started, um, actually the only access right now to the machine is using AWS and they're planning to add uh, Microsoft Azure in the future. But as I was saying before, it's uh, not publicly available yet. So this is really cool. We have a new quantum computer, a new Iron Trap quantum computer that we can play around with that's not been accessible for the public. All right, so the last device is the Rigetti quantum computer. Rigetti is another American quantum computing startup. Uh, from Berkeley and it was founded in 2013. And similar to the quantum computer from IBM and Google, they're using superconducting qubits. They have uh, 30 qubits, so they used to have 32, I guess, um, since you can see here the topology, basically two are um, not working, I guess. Uh, you can also see here the cost, um, it's also relatively cheap to use. If we have a look at the uh, Rigetti website and we go down here to join and we click um, start here, you are then redirected to the signup form. Um, so you can actually also use the Rigetti device directly um, from Rigetti without AWS. All right, so these are the three new machines that um, have been added to AWS. I think this is really exciting. Um, to be fair, the D-Wave and the Rigetti ones are also available in other um, ways by just basically logging into their website. But the IonQ one is new, so this is very exciting. And uh, I'm looking forward to AWS adding a lot more machines and I assume that Microsoft Azure will um, become available in the near future. And I bet that Google is also working on a similar solution. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update video. If you did, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe for more quantum computing content.